I had a video request. Somebody wanted me to show them how to uh, design with aluminum extrusion, like the framing stuff you make with like 3D printers and laser cutters with. So it's a Masumi extrusion in, in specific. So I'm going to go to Masumi here. So under my search, I want to type in Masumi. Okay. And let's go. Okay, that's a weird view. I guess I have to make that a little bit bigger to view it right. Okay, automation. Okay, so give me a weird view. That's okay. Aluminum, aluminum. And then the 2020. Yep, first one. Cool. Wow, that's big. Okay. Don't know if it needs to be that big. There it goes. Okay, so now we're regular size stuff. Okay. So this is what I want right here, this picture. So I'm going to right-click on this, open image and new. Whoops. I don't want to save it. I want to open image and new tab. There we go. Close that one. Let's bring this window back to normal view. Okay. About there. <laughs> okay. Let's see, is that good? There we go. That's looking pretty good. And then we'll get the other corner going. There we go. Okay. So this is the profile we're going to try to design. Okay. So we'll go to our documents. We go to create and document. And we're going to call this extrusion. Okay. Okay. So I guess I'll start from the front. Sure. So hit my sketch. Select the front view. And I'm going to view directly from the front. Okay. So if I look at this, it's really like four copies of the same thing, but it's also mirrored from the center. So this right here is a mirror image of this. So really, if I design one eighth of this thing, I pretty much got it all designed. So let's give that a try here. So let's see. It looks like it goes up or I guess diagonal up, right, up and to the left. And then there's also a radius, which we can add later. Okay. So let's give this a try. So we go up, or diagonal, then up, then in, up, and out. Okay. Okay, looking good so far. Let's do a mirror of this. So select the mirror line, select this, and I want all that to be mirrored. Cool. I'm going to add that one little line down here. Okay. And now I'm going to use my uh, circular pattern tool. Now, really, I shouldn't be going off that, actually. So let's, uh, and I'll show you why in a second. Actually, you know what? I'll do it this way, and I'll do it wrong, and I'll show you why this is the wrong way to do it. Okay, so now I'm going to do the circular pattern. I'll select this, and I want four of these. Okay, there we go. And I actually have to move it off and back onto it for it to lock. There it is. Okay, so we're looking pretty good, right? I want that and that to coincide. So under my constraints here, do a coincidence. Okay. Mess it up a little, but not too bad. Let's see. <laughs> this and this should be parallel. Go to my constraints or my parameters. Constraint. Yeah, constraints. There it is. And parallel. There we go. Okay. So one thing I do know about 2020 extrusion is that it's 20 millimeters wide. So I can select this and this and type in 20. And there we go. Okay. So it's looking closer. It still doesn't look quite right, but it's looking closer. Let's take a look at this. So it's 20 wide. Okay. Those little inner things are 12 and the gap is six. Okay. So use my dimension tool here. So this right here is 12. Okay. And this right here is six. There we go. Okay, what else do we got here? So the inner square is eight. Square to the to the grabbing the shoulder. I don't know what that's called. So we got eight, four, and then this should automatically be two. I'll show you why here. So this should be eight. Okay. Eight. And this to this should be four, okay? Now, you notice that this already turned black, okay? That's because eight plus four plus four is 16, right? 
and it, with it being 20 millimeters wide, there's only room for 2 millimeters and 2 millimeters. So it's going to make a default because we have a constraint here. If I constrained it one more time, it'd be over constrained, right? If I went from here to here and made this 2, even though it is 2, it's going to say, hey, there's too many constraints on this, right? Get rid of any one of these red ones and we'll be good. So I'll get rid of this. There we go. Okay, now how thick is this thing? And I don't think it really tells us, actually. Let's take a look. Yeah, it doesn't really show us, but it looks like it's about 1.5. Huh. But yeah, we also have the inner circle. Okay. So I'll make this 1.5. Just a guess here. Okay. And then we got the inner circle of 4.2. Whoa. Want to make sure we want to get it right on the dot there. There we go. 4.2. Cool. Okay. So there it is, except for the corner radiuses. So I typically don't do them in here. I'll actually extrude it, right? So let's, I don't know. Sure. Do it 60. Okay. Call that good. Hooray. I've got extrusion. Right click on it. Edit appearance. Make it that lighter silver color. There we go. It even looks like it. Unless you're using the black stuff. A lot of the 3D printers use the black stuff. But let's go to our fillet tool. And, oh, not the whole head. Just the corners. There we go. Okay. And click check. All right. So I was saying how I did that wrong, right? So even though it turned out right, like watch this. So let's say I want another piece of extrusion, right? Let's... uh. Let's change this extrude. I'm going to make this symmetric here. I'm going to make it like 120. There we go. Okay. So I've got about five inches of extrusion here, right? So now I want bars coming up from it. So I go to sketch. I'm going to sketch on this plane, right? And I right click. Oh, no. First I select that sketch. Right click. Copy. Sketch entities. Copy. Copy sketch. There it is. And then right click over here. Paste sketch entities. There we go. So the issue is, when I told this thing to do a circular array, that was from the origin point, right? The origin point is where I did my circular array. When I paste this, it doesn't paste in a new origin. It also, I also, when I did my mirroring, I used the right plane, right? I used the right plane to mirror stuff. There is no right plane in here. So as I move this, it's actually going to mess up quite a bit, right? You see that? So... Almost had it back to right. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, all sorts of weird and goofy, right? Okay. So that being said, uh, let's see. So I guess I'll get rid of that. So to do it the right way, let's go back into sketch here. And we'll look at it from the front. Okay. And I guess we got to delete quite a bit of what we did. There we go. Let's get rid of all this. Okay. Get rid of all this. Wow. Okay, yeah. So we Yeah, I can't it doesn't even know where to go without the the circular constraints. There we go. Okay. So what I want to do here is I'm going to sketch it out here. So I'm going to start with that middle piece, right? That was 4.2. And I'm going to make a construction line. So line construction right that way it ignores it in the 3d world there we go okay so now i'm going to start the same way where i go let's see diagonal up right up and then this way a little bit sure i'm going to do a mirror there we go and i want to use that line as my mirror and select all this okay and then let's connect the bottom piece together there we go oops there it is. Cool. Okay. And we'll do a circular array here. Circular pattern. Select all this. And then bring the center of it onto this point. Okay. We want four of these. Okay. Then this and this are now to coincide. There we go. Okay. And let's see if I can fix this. Kind of. <laughs> Uh, yeah, something like that. Okay, close enough. 
Whatever. Okay. So now let's make this 20. Okay. 20. And what are we? This was 12. I have to look. Yeah, 12. Okay. This is 12. Okay. And then this is 6. Okay. What else do we got here? We had... Oh, that's right. This was 8. 8. This was 4. And we're going to guess that this is 1.5. Whoa. Oh, they're not parallel to each other. Okay, select and select. They look pretty parallel. Well, actually, what were they? Just out of curiosity here. So they're about 1.014 degrees off. <laughs> That's pretty close to straight. Okay, select both these. Parallel. There it is. Okay. And now that it says between them. We're at uh, 1.5. There we go. Okay. So now with this all set up like that, does it move good? Yeah, it moves solid. Grab any of these corners. Yeah. That's good and solid. So now I'm going to take the center of it and drop it on the origin. Okay. Call that good. The fillet doesn't redo itself because it was attached to the old part. Okay. Get rid of that. And we've got all new corners. Okay. Cool. All right. So now as I sketch on this piece right here, sketch up top, let's view it from the top here. And I were to click on this sketch, right click, copy sketch, and I were to paste it, right click, paste. Okay. So now as I move it around, it's solid, right? That's because instead of being based off this circle, which doesn't come in, there it is this circle then uh it's based off the circle from the center piece here and instead of being mirrored from this point right here or sorry instead of being mirrored from this uh this plane the right plane it's mirrored from this line right here so now it's all self-contained so now i can take this let's see i'll take this corner right there and this corner right here and i will coincide those there we go okay and now I'll extrude it. And I want a new piece. All right. Hooray. <laughs> Let's select both these. Right click, edit appearance, and make them that light white. There it is. Cool. And hide all my geometry. There we go. So, yeah, now I can start designing things with extrusion. So, hopefully, that explains it to you here. Uh, if you have any questions or any other video requests, let me know. Thanks for watching.